Hello and welcome to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator. You can find me and the Stamping Up website at aliceserafin.stampinup.net. You can shop there with me. Today, this is going to be the Give It a World card featuring, are you ready? The Awesome Otters Stamp Set. You see this? It's adorable. This is a freebie come January 4th through February 28th, 2022, um, our celebration. So I am going to show you the card I made. Isn't this cute? And this is what I'm going to make for you today. So let's give it a whirl, shall we? So. Like I said, this is the Awesome Otter Stamp Set. It is free with the $50 order starting January 4th through February 28th of the new year. The dies we're going to be using today, of course, are the Give It A Whirl dies, which I'll be showing you those, and the Stitch So Sweetly dies, because those are two of the new die sets that I ordered when things went on sale here a little bit ago. We are going to be using the Beauty of the Earth paper. I'll show you this one right here because it makes me think of water. It's on that side, what we're going to be using. Um, we are also going to be using blends. Uh, just a little bit. This is not hard to color. Uh, we're going to be using Balmy Blue, Misty Moonlight, Crumb Cake, Mint Macaron, Smoky Slate, and Night of Navy. So let me switch to my second whiteboard here. Our card base is going to be Balmy Blue. Our card stuck is Misty Moonlight, Basic White, and Thick Basic White. Our ink is Memento and Misty Moonlight. I am using a stamp and write marker of Misty Moonlight. And you'll need some brads for the Give It A World Eyes, which are on page 163. So without further ado, Let's show you what we got. Okay, so these are the Give It A Whirl dies. You get all of these dies. And to show you, yesterday I cut out them all with some scratch paper, as I like to call it. So this is the card front piece, and it does the little hole there so that the turning mechanism, you can line those up. So... This is this piece, that's this piece there. Next, I wanted to show you, you can do this window, which fits in there. Does this little circle out of there. This, because you don't, there are so many options in here. I'm just getting started. There's this option, which is this piece. This is this piece. This is the center of that piece. This is Oh, well, actually, let's put it where it goes. That's that center. That is the center of there. We have several hearts. Is that that one? I believe so. We have the most adorable little clouds. I love these clouds. I've got to figure out how to use them. I use this piece today. And we have another heart. We have three different size hearts besides the mechanism hearts and the little stars. So let me put those all back in here. I am keeping these so I can use them kind of like a template for me. I'm sticking them in one of our clear envelopes and uh, I'm gonna stick it in my die package. So I've got everything cut out already. I'm setting that aside and the stitch so sweetly dies. Um, on these, we're using two of them. So we're using this one here and the one next to it um, for the front of the card here. And this was my practice one. And this background card base is a Seaside Spray. We don't carry that card stock anymore, but that's why I use it for my samples, my practice ones. But I absolutely love this. So, let me set those back on my die sheet because I don't want to get them lost. And I'm going to set those on top of each other and bring in 
my pieces. So let's see. First things first, this is my balmy blue cardstock. This is going to layer there. But don't glue it down. Okay, not yet. First thing I'm going to do is this is the turning mechanism. Now this is why I used, I used a piece of thick whisper white because I wanted it sturdy. Then I cut a second piece, you'll see, out of my DSP, okay? Because I wanted you to have this definition in here, not just be plain white. I wanted that definition and I think it looks like water. So we're going to add glue on and around. Here we go. Oh, by the way, <laughs> you guys watch my other videos. I finally got my order. Five bottles of Tombow came in. I haven't put them away yet, but they're here. So I'm hoping there it leaves an indention on it so you can line this up so easily. Yes, I got glue going on a little bit of it, but that's okay. It's going to get covered up anyways. Let's see. There we go. So that is stuck down. Now I can set that aside and I'm going to get some hand sanitizer, get some of the glue off and a towel. Okay. So next we are going to start our stamping. Now I already stamped one saying out of the little banner piece, it's birthday time. I stamped one of the otters and I colored him in, but I wanted to show you too. This is what, when you cut out, let me bring one in. Okay, so this, I cut three of these images like so, which gave me this piece, which is going to fit perfectly in there. Instead of me trying to stamp onto this piece, I wanted to just stamp it and go. And you can do hearts, you can do a square, a circle. So let's see, I am keeping one of these like so as bring in my little scratch paper here that I've been using and I'm using it as a template and I'm just sliding this up in here. Now we're stamping one saying in on this and we're going to be stamping it in Misty Moonlight. I use Misty Moonlight for both its birthday time and this one says you're utterly awesome. And I'm gonna stamp off, yes. Now, the other day I had a bit of an issue with my stamping too hard and getting a ring around my image, which I do not want. There we go. I'm gonna set that out of the way and set the misty moonlight out of the way too, because I'm done with that. Now, I'm gonna put this one up there, that's done. Now we're going to be stamping our little otter here, let's get this on to the paper. I've got a little piece of washi tape right here so it holds it in place. And this little otter is the one who's going to go right there. And I had to re ink my memento. I want to look at it, make sure I'm not using the stamparatus, and I don't want no rings around my otter. Alrighty. Just gonna give it a second. Oh yes, much better than it was yesterday. Set him aside and I'm gonna set my template aside because I'm gonna be keeping that with my bits and pieces that go with the stamp set. Setting the otter aside and I'm bringing in, this is the most adorable one of them all. I'm bringing in a piece of basic white um, that I cut out of the Stitch So Sweetly dies. 
this is for the front of our card. Let's see, that looks good. Um, I didn't quite get it center, and hopefully today I will. Let's see. Oh, much better than yesterday. So we are all done with the stamping. Now let's get to the blending with the blends, okay? So let's bring in the Stampin' Right marker. Let's put these pieces in here for now. These are the two we'll be coloring. And the rest of the markers, I wanna keep them in twos. So I don't try to blend one with the other. Let's bring these in, and I think I'll bring in a piece of white paper. Well, I don't have a full white one. We're just going to go for it. All right. Let's see. First, um, I'm trying to decide where to start first. Let's start with the otter's body. I'll bring this one in so you can see. For the otter's inner part of his belly and so forth, I use the smoky slate blends and I'm starting with the dark and I'm doing his little nose dark and then I'm just tracing his mouth there we go and I'm just coming in a bit like so and that's all for that it's so easy and then bringing in the light and I'm just going to rub over everything I just did, just coloring it in. And with the blends, you don't have to push hardly at all, especially with this brush tip. It's so easy. So, and I'm going to show you, you don't have to always go with the dark. Let's start with the light on this little otter. And I'm just going to color everything in with the light. being careful not to get the water on him. It's easier for me to turn the paper. All right. Now, let's bring in the dark. Oops, let's see. And this is where I'm going to bring in just a little <coughs> Excuse me, I need a sip. Oh. I made some really good herbal tea. I saw a recipe for it on television many years ago. It uses, I'm bringing back the light and I'm just going to blend over those dark images, the dark. And it will dry lighter than you think. Making sure I use the light. Oh, yes. Okay. So we are done now with the smoky slate. Next, we're going to bring in crumb cake. Oh, the herbal tea I was telling you about. It is using apple juice instead of a sweetener and using um, a lemon zinger herbal tea and a berry zinger tea. And uh, I steep that in a couple of cups of water and then mixed it in with the apple juice and it's really good. So what color have I got? The light. Eh, I do want to start with the dark so I don't got to go back. Okay, now with the dark, I am coming around the outside because he's got hair and we're giving his little ears. This one has little eyebrows and we want to come up here around and then I'm going to come around here, giving him a little more shadows. There we go. That's all for that. Oh, let's do this one. <coughs> I was hoping that would. Now this guy with his arms and his little fingers, I do just a little bit of dark there. His ear, 
his hair is going the opposite direction than the other ones. I'm bringing it off the paper and his little paws there. And then I'm coming around the edges. That's why I'm using this tip because it's a real fine tip. Uh, and his little eyelashes. Let me see, I didn't do this one with so eyelashes. I'm just kind of touching it there. And there, and this one, Ooh, he went for a spin. Okay. So now let's color him in with the light crumb cake. I'm gonna be using the brush tip again. And I'm, I was very reluctant to start doing this. Um, you know, when you're not used to something, you're not sure if you can do it as well as other people. And heck, once I got going, I'm like, this isn't half bad. I'm not real one for coloring images in, or I wasn't, because I didn't think I could do it well, but I'm enjoying it. So, just doing a little extra swirls on where the dark is. And you will notice this is not a full image of the otter, but he is so cute. hard to figure out which one is the cutest. I really like the one with the little fish. This one here. And that is what I used the um, mint macaron was on the fishy there. So let's bring in, <coughs> excuse me again. Uh, we are going to bring in the dark balmy blue. And I am extending the waves out. And I did it kind of all throughout this. Because I just want it to be... All right, so... That is double checking dark balmy blue. Oh, we're going to be using that again too. This is where I come in. Oops, I'm just let's get those out of the way. Um, light night of navy. Okay, so I am coloring these in. These splashes. I'm going a bit dark, and I'm going over the black waves and I'm not sure I brought in I wasn't happy with my coloring I was playing around yesterday so I did a mixture of light balmy blue and mint macaron on here not sure if we're going to do that today. I think I'm going to bring in a little bit of this here. Just extending that because I like the way it looks. And here we go. Those two need some color. All right, so let's get this dark balmy blue. And I'm going to come around the otter here. Kind of almost framing him a bit. And I'm going to do it all the way around this wee little otter. Around his paws. his hairline, his little ear. All right, there we go. Now I'm bringing in the light 
balmy blue. And I am just going to, I didn't like this. I wanted to look like, you know, he's floating on his back saying hi, he's in the water. So that's why I'm coloring in all the whiteness. And if it looks splotchy at first, just wait till it dries. It'll all dry nicely. That's what's so beautiful about the blends. And I'm just quickly giving it a little There we go. And set that one aside and let it dry. <clears throat> now I am bringing this over, just brushing it. I don't want to go, I made a mistake yesterday. I do not want to go outside the stitched line. Okay, just don't want to do it. And you'll be surprised at just how quickly the you can put it together. To give it a whirl it is so easy easier than i thought and i did it without looking up how to do it or or anything i was just wanting to play around yesterday being thanksgiving i hope everyone had a wonderful thanksgiving my two children even though they are in their 30s i had to make sure tell them you will be on your best behavior for mama and they were they made me very, very happy. I was very happy yesterday. There's our water. <clears throat> now, I am not going to come in with the mint macaron there. And yes, I did use the Dark Knight and Navy. I used it on the wee little hat here. It's already done. That's going to go right here because after all, it's a birthday. And I don't know if you can hear the pounding, but that's my grandson making all kinds of ruckus in the house. Okay. Next, I'm going to move my blends. Oops, I didn't want it to go on the floor. I'll get it. I am, this is what we need the stamp and write marker for. So I'm going to bring in a piece of scratch paper. I am going to lay all of my images <clears throat> on. And we're going to flick this like so. I'll show you. You just take the tip of a Stampin' Write marker and you just bring it up against there. Yesterday I got a little too much on some of the images, so I just want it to, you know what it's supposed to, he's in water. So I want it to be like water splashes down. Okay, I'm very happy with that. I'm gonna set that aside. Now, let's put this together. So, oh, you do need a brad. Um, I have tons of stamping up brads. So, just getting some old ones. I used a silver one. In the catalog, they come in black and white. And I have... Uh, I don't think I want a white one, really. I wanted to stay with the silver. I just like the way it looks. Okay, <clears throat> and let's, first things first, okay? See this little hole there? Stick your little brad through the hole. Turn it over, stick it through the hole of the mechanism, okay? That's, that's really... All there is. I'm trying to think if there's anything much. Nope. I use my bone folder to split the brad open. Now, do not make this too tight. You want this to spin freely, like so. Okay. So let's go ahead and start gluing our images. Just pick a window. Oh, that's what I should have done. Hmm. Okay. Before you do this, don't do it the hard way. Let's take this out. Let's glue our window pieces in place. So you are utterly awesome. You could have reversed it and had its um, birthday time in one of the windows. But I thought I liked that. It just was what I wanted to go with. 
All right. <clears throat> One little otter in a window. Second little otter. Isn't he cute with that little fishy? See, you can see where I had to redo them. I had to re-ink my memento. All right. There we go. Now we can stick the brad through it, okay? Uh, so we are just going to go like so after I've made it split from the back side. It's a little. All right. Now, there we go. Now, easy way. Take it. Pop it. Don't do it tight. Okay. Make sure it can spin freely. Do, 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 do. Okay. Now we are going to glue. Let's glue this on first. You could have popped it up, but I wanted to pop up the whole stitch so sweetly dies. But I am going to glue this one inside of the bottom one. And, um, I've got, I did this one here, right? This is what we're doing. I got both this piece here out of a six by six square, and I still have all this. And I also got the stitch so sweetly out of there because I didn't want to waste my paper. That's how I came to do that. Alrighty, so we are going to now get the dimensionals. Do, 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 do my box of dimensionals and you do want quite a few on here in fact let's see I was looking to see I'm going to use some of these um, <clears throat> edges for this let's see in fact I'm going to cut the whole edge off of this one and put it down at the bottom I want it well that's one way to do it Alice <laughs> okay we're just gonna put that right down there and there we have it okay so we're filling we want this nice and supported we don't want it sagging because otherwise it won't turn like so you just flick your finger like so now some people have cut this out there I chose not to. I did not want to do that. So let's bring in. I'm going to put one there. We just need one in each corner. I'm sticking one up there. One up there. Ah, I forgot that that didn't have. And I'm sticking one in the middle. One there. And one there. Do I need any more? No, I don't want to overdo it. Okay, so let's put those back in the dimensional container and let's get these off. Maybe. Having no nails right now. Washing as many dishes and just they keep breaking. Alrighty. So, there we go. Now we are going to set it on our card base. Make sure your card base is opening the right direction. Uh, okay, I'm trying to just, it's kind of hard with the camera in view to see where I'm putting it, but that will work. There we go. There's a piece of weight on there. You could punch this out. I could have done that a bit, but I didn't want to. And I still don't want to. Oh, we still need the dimensionals because I wanted on this one. I was thinking, let's see. Kind of liked, I wasn't sure if I wanted to bring it up and bring this under there. Um, I had already put this down by the time I got this on, but I do like it. Let's see. I wanted birthday time to be like.
like so. Oh, I am going to do it that way. Okay. So let's get some more dimensionals. We're going to need more than those two. So let's turn this one over. And those are from Paper Pumpkin. This is a full sheet. One in putting six on the back of the stitch so sweetly. Panel taking these off. All right. It just fits so nicely there. I'm going to stick it back down at the bottom because it just really does fit nicely in that spot. It just nestles in. Uh, sometimes I try to do something a little different and I just can't bring myself to do it. So we are going to glue it's birthday time down here. You see, I am a little worried about my camera, sorry. And there we go. And the little hat, I just put glue on the bottom. I really love this little guy. Oh, so cute. So there you have it my give it a whirl dies and having this on thick basic white it now it allows you to grab it and it turns beautifully i love that this paper matches this paper there the lines and uh it is so cute and uh of course he's swimming with this fishy he's so happy so thank you for joining me um you know what let's add a little i didn't put this on my whiteboard but let's add a little wink of stella to these guys after all they're swimming in the ocean or in the river it depends river otters yes we're gonna add a little bit just a moment please Somebody is in need of me, apparently. And we're going to put a little sparkle up there. We're going to put some on the fishy. And some back there. And can you see it? Oh, just a little bit a sparkle. Okay. Thanks again. Please um, hit the bell to be reminded of when I upload videos. And give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Uh, please do go and give this card a whirl. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.